Hello, happy jewelry community. Welcome to this new tutorial. Go to the internet and download this 3D head. I have just added mapping to make a pretty tutorial. And today we're going to model very trendy gold earrings. This is Blender 4.4 and I always show how to use Blender for professional 3D jewelry design. Let's get started. First, I'm going to add a mesh plane and go to edit mode. I'm going to erase all these vertices and I'm going to configure the snap to center, face project, align rotation to target, affect move and rotate. Turn the snap on. I'm going to start at the top of the ear somewhere here. Let's do control left click to add a vertex and extrude. Select everything with A and extrude with E to create faces. Exit edit mode. Go to modifiers because the problem is that we're inside the solid. Let's add a solidify modifier, offset one, and let's start searching for the thickness that works for us. For now, I will go at 0.2 millimeters. Then I'm going to add a subdivision surface, level three, and perhaps a bevel modifier before the subdivision surface. Object, shade, smooth. This is how it starts. Save and be happy. So now, how does it go from here? Go to edit mode, extrude, 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 and extrude. Don't forget the eventual grab, move, grab, move, grab, move, grab, move, grab, move, grab, and move. Then also we will have some eventual loop cut, loop cut, loop cut, loop cut, loop cut, loop cut, and loop cut. Also, from time to time, you're going to use the knife tool to cut very specific positions. Then, last but not least, we will have some subdivisions from time to time. Remember to always work with quads to make it all work. Grab, move, grab, move, grab, move, grab, move, grab, move, grab, and move. Loop cut, loop cut, loop cut, loop cut, loop subdivision, cut, loop cut, and loop cut. Keep designing your gold earrings, save and be happy. Keep tweaking and laying the foundations of your design. I repeat, keep tweaking and laying the foundations of your design. Keep tweaking and laying the foundations of your design. I repeat, keep tweaking and laying the foundations of your design. Keep tweaking and laying the foundations of your design. I repeat, keep tweaking and laying the foundations of your design. They always ask me if Blender is better than Rhino, than Matrix, and yet this gorgeousness is happening right here, right now in Blender, and that's all I care about. Lay the foundations of your design, lay the foundations of uh, your design, lay the foundations of your design, lay the foundations of your design, lay the foundations of your design. This is the first stage of the design. On the back, don't forget to put something to help holding the earring. Save and be happy. Now it's time to tweak the thickness to prepare the jewel for real life. I'm going to go at one millimeter and don't forget to check the scale. Control A, apply scale. And now this is the thickness for 3D printing and manufacturing the jewel. Here you can also decide to remove the bevel to get a rounder look. For now, I'm going to stay sharp and start adding more details and modeling to my earring design. First, down here, I'm going to add three chain supports. Add mesh torus. 60, 30 for the segments, radius 1.2 and 0.35. Gold material, smooth. Make copies of your supports and find proper placements. Just like this. Save and be happy. Now for the chain, I'm going to create a smaller link and make them slightly oval. Then make a copy, adapt the rotation and tweak the positions. Add an array modifier 
find the proper factor and set any count to make the chain. Then add Bezier curves for the position of the chains and then add a curve deform modifier. The curve object is your Bezier curve for the position of the chain. Also add a remesh modifier before the curve modifier to get a smoother look and then tweak your Bezier curves tilt and length to properly place the chains. Save and be happy. Now let's add a four millimeters sphere. It will be a pearl. Go to the front view, add a plane, create some kind of shape, add a screw modifier, only 15 degrees, add a mirror modifier on the Y axis, add a solidify modifier, find a proper thickness, add a subdivision surface modifier, convert to mesh, add a remesh and a smooth modifier. Then multiply the shape also create a flower. Don't forget to add the proper backing and properly position your new decoration and set the proper chain support. In the same fashion, keep creating more decorations and adapting the chains to complete your earring design. Don't forget to save and be happy. Support my channels, my tutorials and the Blender foundations buying my assets on the Superhive Blender market. This was a professional 3D jewelry design tutorial in Blender 4.4. My name is Damien Rohrbach, the Jewelry Jedi. Take care and see you soon.